Couple years ago, I went to a baby shower for my cousin. And as I was sitting there, I saw a dude approaching. At first, I didn't really recognize him. But then I realized I do know him. I just haven't seen him in a long time. Happened to also be her cousin, but from her dad's side. Her and I are related on her mom's side. Her mom and my dad are brother and sister. I looked down and he was wearing split toe derbies. And I myself, of course, also happened to be wearing split toe derbies that day. But not only was he wearing split toe derbies, he was wearing Sons of Henry split toe derbies, which I recognized, because I had the same pair. So we give that, and I said to him like, yo, this is my first time being out and actually running to another guy that's wearing Sons of Henry split toe derbies, man. How do you know about Sons of Henry? He goes, come on, man, you know I watch your videos. <laughs> Intro. Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Richet from ChaseAndRider.com. In today's video, we're going to unbox a new pair of shoes from Sons of Henry. Back in November 2019, I did a video where I unboxed a pair of shoes from Sons of Henry. It was a split toe derby in a country calf grain. What made that video really special? Well, it was a couple of reasons. Number one, it was my first ever collaboration with a brand. I was a very new YouTuber at the time. And Tom, the owner of Sons of Henry, he was able to see the vision and sent me a new pair of shoes to unbox on the channel. Number two, if you know anything about me, you know that I love a split toe derby. It didn't always start that way. A split toe derby was never a type of shoe that I wanted in my collection, but Tom was able to kind of talk me into getting that shoe, and I haven't looked back since. I think I have probably five pairs now. With this one, it's probably six. But it's crazy how the classic men's wear journey usually goes when it comes to shoes. I don't think any men that are really into split toe derbies started off really liking them and wanting them. It's a gradual process. First, it's like, what the hell are these shoes? And second, oh, he's wearing it kind of okay there. I think I can pull that off. To how did I go my whole life without having a pair? So we come in full circle, because this is another pair of Sons of Henry. Once again, the shoe that started my infatuation with split toe derbies. It's a really special pair of shoes, which we're going to get into. Couple things that make this shoe special that I'm really looking forward to going over. And I think you guys are really, really going to like this. And also at the end of the video, I will have a special offer for you that um, you should definitely be taking advantage of. So without further ado, let's take a look at the George from Sons of Henry. So this is my third unboxing of a Sons of Envy shoe. So if you're not new here, you should be pretty used to the box. It's a navy box with Sons of Henry written in silver. It's just a regular box, but blue happens to be my favorite color, so I'm not mad at it. All right, let's see what we have. So when you open a Sons of Henry box, the first thing that you notice is the shoe ID. As I mentioned in my last video, the shoe ID is like the shoe's birth certificate. And what the shoe ID does, it gives you some background about the shoes, it talks about the leather, it talks about the last, and it talks about the construction and where the shoes are made. We'll talk about price a little bit later. Ever since I made the first Sons of Henry video over three years ago, I still haven't encountered any shoe brand that actually does this. And I think this is really cool. Someone like me that gets a lot of shoes, sometimes you forget exactly what are the details of the shoes. So this always comes in handy. The second thing, it comes with an unbranded polishing cloth. This pair also come with spare laces, but these are round laces and you guys know how I feel about round laces. And these are the shoes right here, man. Wow. I received these shoes about two days ago and I really refrained from opening the box until I was actually filming. And um, these shoes are amazing, man. The first thing that I noticed with these shoes is the leather. Utah Grain is something that I've had my mind on for a very long time, but I've never actually pulled the trigger. Ironically, I have another pair coming shortly. Also in a dark brown Utah grain, just like this one. And the characteristic of this leather, the reason why a lot of people love it is because of the suppleness and how soft it is. You can just tell by looking at it that you're dealing with a different kind of leather compared to let's say a hatch grain. There's a few things that set Sons of Envy apart. Number one, they have really beautiful lasts. The almond shape last is made exclusively 
for the split toe derby. Actually, no, it's made for the split toe derbies and also the Chelsea boot that Sons of Henry offers. And that's a beautiful shape. Hopefully it's coming across on camera. And the second thing that sets Sons of Henry apart, when we're talking about shoes around the $500 price point, is the leather that they're able to source. As I was saying that the Utah grain leather is a really nice leather, but this is the same exact leather that Edward Green uses on their Dover model. The Dover, if you're not familiar, is one of the first, if not the first split to derby model that really, really popularized that kind of shoe that retail around $1,500, $1,600. So this is the same exact one that Sons of Envy uses on their split to derby model, which is called the George. If you're familiar with shoes, you'll realize that a lot of leathers are sourced in France. This is no different. This is from Haas, which is a tannery in France, and that's where Sons of Envy source the Utah grain leather. The leather hides from this tannery of vegetable tanned, and what that means is it's going to age beautifully over time. And not to get too technical on you, but what makes the leather so soft is that different fats are added in the vegetable tint process. The color is a dark brown, which is going to be very versatile. I can't really think of a color besides, let's say, dark brown trousers that this is not going to go with. The sole is made out of rubber, but not just any rubber. This is a Vibram studded sole. So this is a really good shoe to wear in the snow, for example, because it's going to offer you more stability. But not to worry if you don't like rubber soles, Sons of Henry also has the same model in the leather sole. So just something to keep in mind. I like the rubber sole because I live in New York, so I live in a climate where sometimes it could be pretty ugly outside and I want to still be wearing my shoes and look fly when the weather is not that great. So usually with my casual shoes, I like to go with a rubber sole as opposed to a leather sole. But on my Oxfords, I usually go with all leather soles. The main reason why Tom had steered me towards the George when I was getting my first shoe to unbox from Sons of Henry on the channel is because this is the brand's most popular model. And now more than three years later, that's still the case. He does stock a lot of them, but they'll be selling out so fast that a lot of times they'll be sold out. With that said, he does have a bunch of them that are coming available right now, right after this video drops, so that you can place your order. And you already ordered some backups because once again, these usually sell out pretty fast. And you can see why. One thing that's different about the Split Toe Derby from Sons of Henry compared to the other Split Toes that I've unboxed on this channel is the apron. So usually the other shoes that I've unboxed the apron is made by hand versus Sons of Henry, this is made by machine. That doesn't mean that it's bad. I'm just telling you what the facts are. So this is more reminiscent of the Kraken and Jones Hudwick. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that shoe, but that shoe retails around $650. Now, just to show you a one-on-one -on -one comparison between the hand soon apron and the machine soon apron. So this right here is my split toe derby from Yale style. The apron is hand soon versus you have the Sons of Henry here, which is machine soon. One thing that you're going to notice is that on the Sons of Henry, the apron is flatter versus on the Hanson apron is going to be rounder. One thing to keep in mind, the yield size shoes that I just showed you retail for around $600 versus Sons of Henry shoes retail for $350, which is an excellent price for what you're getting. Sons of Henry is one of the top shoes under $500. The only thing is it's really known by shoe enthusiasts. When you mention Sons of Henry, a lot of guys never really heard of them, which is unfortunate because they offer a really great product, as you can see. Once again, I have three pairs from Sons of Henry and I do wear them very often. This is a really beautiful shoe, man. And at $350, even up to let's say $450, I don't know of any other Spito Derbies that's going to offer you a last like this, leathers like this, and craftsmanship like this. These are gorgeous, gorgeous shoes, man. And once again, this is the flagship model from Sons of Henry. They do their best to keep it in stock since people are always looking for this model, but as I was saying, they do sell out pretty fast. As I was saying, those shoes retail for $350. But if you use the code VLAD, V-L-A-D, you get an extra 10% off. Once again, use the code VLAD, V-L-A-D, to get 10% off. So we're talking about $315 for a beautiful pair of Split Derby from Sons of Henry in the almond shape last. And this Utah grain leather is really something special, man. Once again, this is the same exact leather that Edward Green uses in their Dover model. I know I've said that before, but it's really a feat to be able to pull that off in a shoe at this price point. I can feel the difference just by handling them without even trying them on first. 
that this is a much softer leather than hatch grain. Doesn't mean that hatch grain is bad, but this is definitely much softer. Now, one thing that's going to happen with a soft leather like this is that it's not going to crease, instead it's going to roll. So that's something to keep in mind because the leather is so soft. But yeah, these are the George from Sons of Henry in a dark brown Utah grain calf. Really beautiful shoes that retail at $350. And once again, if you use the code VLAD, V-L-A-D, you get an extra 10% off, bringing it down to $315, which is an incredible value. It was an incredible value at $350, so the 10% off only adds to that fact. The way I'm going to wear these is probably going to be casually with our trousers and with blazers and OCBDs, or like the way that I'm dressed today, just uh, our trousers button down collar polo shirt although you can definitely pull these off with a casual suit like a flannel suit or a half sack suit or something like that i don't typically wear split toe derbies with my suits i do sometimes and that's because i have so many oxfords and that's when i like to pull those out because i think most of the time i'm dressed more casually than i am in a suit so i get plenty of chances to wear my split toe derbies casually so that's why when i'm in a suit typically i reach for a pair of oxfords but sometimes like in my last video for example i was wearing a navy flannel suit with a pair split to derbies but you're going to be seeing a lot of these when i make these videos on instagram to get ready with me i'll make sure to include those in a couple of those videos if you're not following me on instagram you're definitely missing out my handles right here chase that rider if you are wondering what I'm wearing today, this is my button down collar polo shirt from Yale Sal. This is a really nice shirt. If you feel like dressing casually and don't wanna wear OCBD shirt, you can wear it with a blazer, you can wear it without. I'm going to include a link in the description, so definitely check out Yale Sal for their shirts. Can't end the video without the with a wrist check, and this is my 1970 Grand Seiko. So hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe, or everybody gonna think that you a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.